Hello, this is Jennifer Hirakoka, Senior Manager of Internal Controls, here today to present an update on the corrective action plan for closing past audit findings. Today, I'm here to request that the Finance and Governance Committee receive the update on the corrective action plan for closing past audit findings and recommend staff forward the presentation to City Council. Today's agenda is to provide an update on the status of the corrective action plan and to update you on the progress the City continues to make towards strengthening and maintaining our internal controls. The last corrective action plan update was provided at the end of last year in November to the Finance and Governance Committee and in December to City Council. We are keeping with our commitment of providing you with corrective action plan updates semi-annually. Just in case you need to refresh your memory, here's the slide that details the corrective action plan status definitions. Today, the only definitions that apply to the current unresolved remaining corrective action plan items are complete and in progress. During our last update, we reported that we had three unresolved unique findings that remained in progress. In January 2023, during the single audit, one audit finding was cleared. Median Payne reviewed the CDBG HUD finding and determined that the city sufficiently completed the corrective action plan for the finding, leaving only two prior findings in progress, the indirect cost allocation plan finding and the IT general controls finding. Both of these items remained in progress during the single audit. The fiscal year 2022 single audit resulted in no new findings. Furthermore, this is the third year in a row where no material weaknesses were identified. This chart shows that the total unique findings remain at 159 and only two findings remain in progress. The two outstanding remaining findings are as follows. The finance department is working with a consulting firm to help prepare an indirect cost rate and remains on track to implement the new cost allocation plan with the fiscal year 23-24 budget. For the information technology general controls finding, updates continue to be provided to city council via separate confidential reports. This slide shows the history of the city's progress. Since 2015, the city has had a total of 186 audit findings, of which 159 were unique non-repeat findings. You will see that the CAP status as reported as of February 23 is in light purple, and that there are no material weaknesses, two significant deficiencies remain outstanding, and no non-compliance or best practices. The takeaway from this slide is that the city has made substantial progress and only has two total unresolved findings as reflected on the bar graph on the bottom. This slide highlights the progress the city continues to make towards strengthening our system of internal controls. 
We continue to operate with a commitment to following policies and procedures and that prior corrective actions have been effective as the recent financial statement audit resulted in no new findings. We continue to make progress on our remaining open audit findings. We've completed a cost allocation plan and will complete the indirect cost rate this spring. We continue to ensure that our accounting team is properly trained. The general accounting team received training on generally accepted accounting principles updates in preparation for the fiscal year 22-23 financial reporting cycle. And finally, the city continues to implement stronger internal controls to ensure we maintain our existing credit rating. Lastly, that concludes our presentation. Thank you.